What's up, turkeys? Welcome back to FT Record for the record. My name is Roy Lee Reynolds. My name is Tony Brown. Welcome back. And uh, if you're just tuning in for this for the first time, this is kind of a reaction video. We've already listened to a whole album. Uh, this week it's Dead Weather, the Whorehound album, their first full length. What a fun album. Yeah, it was. And uh, what we do is we're going to talk shit about it and review it and whatever else we want to talk about yeah. as we were listening to it. Um, I've heard this record many, many, many times. This I, is my like first time hearing this yeah, record. Yeah, have you heard anything off of it? <clears throat> no, not until today. Cause, but I know Jack White. Yeah. I do know Jack White, because you know, everyone knows White Stripes. Yeah. Uh, but this is the first time I've heard this album, and I love I love finding little side projects that like uh, yeah. that, that, you know, that I like of artists. Like, Serge Tankian did a solo album after System of a Down. Yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't terrible by any means, but it wasn't the same for me. But I thoroughly enjoyed this side project mm -hmm. as far as like a bigger band goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they have their side. Like Corey Taylor has uh, what's that? That uh, it's not said not it's Stone uh, Sour. Stone Sour. Yeah, they were hard to grip for a while, but then they got way good. Yeah, you know okay. I mean, I love side projects, but this uh, this album right here was a lot of fun. A lot of would you call it modern blues? Yeah, yeah. It's to me, modern it's modern blues. blues. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Twenty. I'm gonna guess the year twenty two thousand. Nine blues? I, I believe and it, don't yeah. hold me to this shit. I'm a drunk asshole. Yeah. But, like, yeah. yeah anytime we're recording, we're drunk assholes. I don't, I don't research. But, yeah, it, it, 2009, I think, and uh, eight, maybe. But, uh, you know, that was the time frame. White Stripes had already broken up. Yeah. White Stripes have written the most popular song mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Ever. The most popular song in the world mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Like, sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. That's probably not your favorite song, and it shouldn't be, but it is the most popular hey man, song you, ever in the if world. If you want a quick pump-up song, that's their song right there. That's yeah. Real. That's a great just um, like... But, you know, that that's him, and I'm not a huge White Stripes fan. Like, they're cool. Yeah, I, I only know that. I really yeah, they're cool. It. Yeah. I like it. You know, they're all right. Um, you know, uh, the Raconteurs, like, they're, they're all right, you know? But this is my favorite Jack White band. Um, Alice Mo's heart from the kills is singing. She's dynamite. Yeah, she really was. She she uh, makes she yeah. makes the band to me. But to me, this is modern blues, and it's it's structurally it's very old school blues sounding, nineteen mm thirties -hmm. blues structurally, but modern tones, modern type vocals, modern type like uh like the guitar riffs with the as far as like the what did they use for the yeah sound, you know, yeah the, the distortion yeah, and, distortion and, yeah their tone, uh, and then the way like. Allison sings, to me is like, uh, like she's, she's a better singer than what she does. Not better singer, but she undersings shit. She yells more. She shouts more. I think she felt. The, I think she felt the music properly. Yeah, she knew she, what, she did yeah. what the song called for. Yes, and she can let loose more than she did on this project. Oh, I believe she's got. A and she did this voice, album yeah. correctly. Um, to me, vocally, it was a lot like early 80s punk. Yeah. Like, what Keith Morris did in Black Flag and the Circle Jerks. I was thinking like, Black Flag Rollins and Black yes. Flag Danzig yes. and the Misfits. Ian MacKay yeah. and Minor Threat, uh, you know, and Fugazi. You know, very much of, like, that nature. Anything Jello Biafra yeah. ever did. That's funny um, you say that. I that's Black the Black way, Black that's the way she sang to me. Um, and that worked... The simplicity of the way she sang worked with the simplicity well, of the way they yeah, wrote the songs. Say, the simplicity of everything, how they structured it, was fucking yes. golden, man. Yeah, like, I loved it, it. Yeah. And and blues, like, don't yeah, even take it. Exactly. If you, it's hard to mess it. If you, you, the only thing you gotta do for blues, on one, learn how, you know how to play the, the instruments you're doing. Yeah. But two, feel it. Yeah. That's it. And, and then, then you could tell they felt it. Man. And then, like, like, was, like, the blues, it's blues and jazz. This applies to both. But what's more important than knowing what note to play is what not to play. Yeah. I went to back off, you know, and, and I love that. And I'm a Louisiana guy. I was trained on Louisiana metal. I'm an old Crowbar fan. I'm an old I Hate Wesley God too, fan. Yeah. I'm an old Down fan. You know, that Soylent Green, like, I like that. And uh, what, what that scene did was just go, like, you don't have to play a million miles an hour like Metallica and What's Megadeth Slayer do. Yeah, tune low and play slow. There you go. And then... Uh, these guys kind of do that, but they they don't go metal with it. They just kind of no. go blues with it. Like, this, this is not metal in the and least. And you kind of almost expect it with all the distortion and shit. The metal, yeah. But it's just nice and fucking blue. And yeah, you feel every goddamn note. You really do. There's that one song, what was it? Save the Water? What is it? Uh, it Will It Be Enough Water? Yeah. 
That I think we got that right. one hooked me immediately because the, yeah. the drummer was playing with brushes, and I I used to play drums a lot when I was younger. Yeah, and brushes are a hell of a lot of fun if you can get it right, man. Just to have that that nice. Ch -ch -ch. And he had the high, he had the snare going too, the hi hat. Sorry, the hi hat yeah. going with it too. Man, I don't know. I had very fun just instrumental wise. This album is a blast. Even and that's not me knocking the lyrics because she was fucking great too. Like there's. So much good with this album. I can't really yeah. find a bad thing with this album at all, yeah. really. Well, you, you were talking about the brushes. I didn't say this while we were listening to it. Um, I kind of wanted to save it. But to me, that like that was... like I, I wanted Willie Nelson to start singing. Yeah. On that track. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, may, maybe that was the last one you and I listened to. But it... It, it uh, might have been, yeah. Huh, yeah, that yeah, so was the last one. I think it was, huh? Yeah. But, uh, you know, link down below if you want yeah, to watch the Willie's record. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop that link down below. But, uh... You know, like, it, it was Willie Nelson. That's why I call it, like, modern blues. Yeah. You know, where, whereas there are cats um, that, are, that are very modern blues, too, like uh, Gary Clark Jr. Um, and I think some old guys are hip to the time. I think Hank Jr. is hip to the time. As much as he's Probably. still living in the 70s, yeah. he's living in 2020 at the same time. Um, but G Gary Clark Jr., Honey Honey, um, shout out to any Joe Rogan fans, because you're a fan of them, too. But there, there's cats like that, and I think uh, Dead Weather just falls into that, even though Dead Weather's been around. What a cool yeah. name, though. Oh, yeah. Even then, you know what I mean? Like, they got everything right. Yeah. Um, as we were talking about this, um, we were talking about how British sounding they were. Yes. Yeah. There, there was a lot of yeah. Beatles all in this. There was. But again, they, they spawned out of The Kills, which is Alice in Mozart's yeah, yeah. old band. You know, a British band, uh, you know, you know, Alice and Mozart's very much American, um, but that's a London band, and then White Stripes is a band, same, you know, just drums, guitar player, singer, two people, uh, and then another band back to New Orleans, which is Dead Boy and the Elephant Men, uh, you know, that's Dax Riggs from Acid Bath, again, uh, New Orleans, but that same, you know, just drummer, guitar player, singer, that same two-person band, all that shit, a lot of that shit was going on in the early 2000s. Yeah. And uh, this band, which is a full four-person band, say four, yeah. I think four people in this band. Uh, guitar, bass, drum, sing. Yeah, 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 two guitars, yeah. Uh, maybe five, fuck, I don't know. Like, goddamn, I told, you we're, yeah, I told you we're drunk asses. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I could tell you who plays what instruments on the album. Yeah, there's an organ in here. Yeah, like, like songs, I think yeah. Jack White plays all the instruments. I may be wrong. Again, we don't research this shit. That's why he reminded me of Serge, because Serge played all his instruments yeah. on the album. But, uh, you know, the, they spawned out of that thing with the two-people band, and then they went, this is a full band, and you still have that same vibe mm -hmm. to me. It's still that same White Stripes, Dead Boy, uh, Kills vibe to it. Like, that, that's kind of what... It's one of those albums that yeah. did everything right that I wanted, that I expected out of hearing the first song. Yeah. And they just kept everything right from me. Like, just the blues, the... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the brushes sold me a lot. Yeah. Just because I'm just a... That's me, I'm a drummer. I'm kind of a mark for drums. I, yeah. I don't play drums anymore, but, like, I remember how hard it was to learn just to play properly with drums. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just even hitting the, the edge of the snare with the, the, the not brush part and then going back to the... Yeah, like that shit's fun, and they got it perfect for the for the yeah. blues shit, man. It was nice. Yeah, to me, I did I did really the first half of that album. Yeah, uh, can't be touched. You know, uh, treat you like your mother and cut like a buffalo. Hang you cut from the like heavens. Cut like a buffalo goes hard. I yeah, don't care what like like says, like those man. those at the beginning, and those are kind of the hits. If yeah. you want to use the term hit loosely, uh, you know. Fucking FM radio is dead by the yeah, time this shit came out. Yeah, we had a good conversation about that. Listening to you this. know, but th th to me, this is kind of band that should be all over FM yeah. radio, and they might would still be relevant. You fucking FM DJ. <laughs> That's not their fault. No, it's not theirs. It's, yeah. the cor it's the corporations. It's exactly. Yeah, DJs don't get any say so here. Sorry, guys, but uh, it is the corporate fault. But like to me, this is the kind of band that should be on FM radio, this is what you want and to they do. would still be interesting. They yes. would still be relevant. I agree. And, and when you got in your car, you might just turn it on your the rock station and go like, cool, you know. Um, there's a lot of bands I would love to, I would, you know, we, we've done them in the past, but I would love Clutch to be all over the radio. Um, what? Yeah, that would be a great... And, and they, were, they were briefly, like, they've had some radio songs. Yeah. But, uh... Why wouldn't you, as a radio station, play just some of the best shit, you know what I mean? Like... There's a classic rock station out there, of course, but this is not yeah. This is not for your average classic rock fan, I don't think. No, this isn't classic. It's no. not old enough to be I don't classic think so. rock. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's creeping up on 20 years. Yeah, it's but but there, it's yeah. not, I don't know, what, 13? 
But it's, it's not old enough. It's got to be 90s or older to really... This is how you rejuvenate rock, though. If you just play the shit that inspired the shit that's going on right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't see... Anyway, we're good enough on a tangent on FM radio right now. Yeah, whatever. You know, them. yeah. I mean, we were talking about... That's what FM stands for. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. And speaking of fuck them, Tony, final thoughts. Oh, man. Final thoughts? This is the uh, easiest album I, I got to listen to. Like, not saying that any of the albums Real have been one. done. Real Easy, yeah. Easy as, as much as, like, fun. You know I think I mean? you and I just like drinking bullshit it easier to this one. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I think it's just, it's fun to yeah. chill to. It's easy to get. Blues is blues. If you know what blues is, you know how it feels, you can listen to it and enjoy the fuck out of it. Um, they went hard. There's a lot, a lot of fun elements to it. Like we were talking about how there's a lot of British rock into it. You know? Yeah. A lot of fun Beatles, like kind of like, uh, I don't know if they meant it to be that way, but you could definitely hear just the yeah. inspiration of British rock and roll. So you could, you could feel Buddy Guy in here if you wanted to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. You could, um, my final yeah. thought is like, definitely one I've seen Buddy out. Guy. I got his autograph. I saw him once at a jazz festival out here. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, but, yeah. Dude's awesome. Anyway, totally final right. thought is if you're watching this, definitely, this is definitely a Tony pickup. You have to listen to this album. This, How would you listen to it? How would you go about listening to it if you wanted to? Oh, I would go to Amazon or Spotify or any uh, streaming service. Check the link below. Just stream it. Stream it, man. But, but you don't have to go crazy and get this copy. No. Uh, which you can on Third Man uh, you know, if you want to. Or, you, you, you know, whatever. You don't have to do that. Just stream the motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and that's fine. And, and while uh, you're picking up albums, you know. Bullies Volume Bullies 1. Bullies Volume 1. That's our comedy album. Yeah, featuring us, Mr. Dom DeTolet, Andrew Scott, who did a few episodes back. Yeah, he was back. a guest of, yeah, a few Yeah, he did ago. a Metallica yeah. record with us. You know, Bob, me, yeah, pick that thing up. And, and, and again, if you don't want to be this crazy, <laughs> you know, fine. Like, just stream, stream it. We're on other streaming services, too, so yeah, is this. we're on all of it. Listen to it. I don't give a shit if you get through our stuff or not. That's fine. What I do give a shit is give us a check and a, and a subscribe, you know. Ugh. Yeah, I know. We're that. I know. Give us a like and subscribe and help us going crazy. All right. Now, now that I'm done <laughs> holding myself out, all right, here we go. Right here. We're going to do it like this. Like that.